everybody, it's Chichuki back with some more Netabuku. Uh, so last time, just watched the last episode. Um, uh, what the hell is her name? Why did I? Oh, uh, Kanatan. Uh, she's becoming more um, accustomed to the facility. So let's keep going. He's still crazy as usual. If you're new to the channel, make sure to give us a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to GK, make sure to leave a comment so you can get more robots living and helping in assisted living facility uh, via <laughs> uh, graphic novel type games because you know you love them. <laughs> if he doesn't open his mouth, I'm sure I'll be popular with people. What does, what about Kanto recently? Why? What? Hey, kind of, Hey, Kanatan, who was all over us when she first came here. It's now everyone's. Is that? Aren't you thinking, my only Kanatan will be taken by everyone? What? 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 Oh, I don't think so. Oh, wait, no, that's Kanto. I don't think so. Okay, occasionally, call out from you. Kanatan would be happy to. Oh my god, the writing and editing is abysmal. It's terrible in this game. It looks like it didn't get edited at all. I know. Maybe what uh, Basilico, who spells his name differently again, is saying is true. Kanata, who has been with me, who has been with me for the first time, gradually becomes everyone's. The feeling was like going somewhere far away. I haven't talked much about these days. Are you going to stay away from me, too? Oh, it looks like I'm feeling sick again. Let's stop. Okay, let's get back to the room soon. Uh-oh, what was that? What does that sound now? What? I'm doing a Mario Italian voice for Basilico because Basilico sounds like an Italian name. Suddenly, the sound of something breaking like glass was heard from the entrance. I wonder if I dropped something. Then I hear a man shouting at me. Hey, please take care of troubles. I'm worried anyway. Let's go. Basilico nodded and we headed to the door. At the entrance, there were five or six large men and Miyamoto-san. She's quarreling with the men. Don't do this. I've already given you this week's worth. Uh-oh, it's the people coming for the rent. Miyamoto-san, interest has increased 30% this, since this week. That here again? That large man is the mafia. Well, this took a turn. <laughs> in the middle of the reconstruction process, the police are out of control, so they sometimes show up like this and forcefully take money. Even unreasonable interest is a matter of taking away rights from the original creditors and deciding on their own. We don't really need to pay, but we had to accept what was weak. I don't know why we is capitalized there, but we can only watch from afar. What? What? That should be 50% in 10 days. What? You are so much vices. This is also business. Give me a quick pay. In the first place, as many residents of the island moved to the downtown area. Having facilities here is annoying in itself. It's not for your convenience. There are a lot of people who would be in trouble if this facility went away. Nah. They'll let me have this place, this talk, and turn it down and turn the island itself into a theme park. Oh, so we're going to get rid of the disabled assisted living facility for a theme park. Well, that's an interesting storyline, isn't it? If you do that, I'm sure more people will be happy. That's what you're after? It's going to be very profitable. I'm saying let's make better use of the island. I'm not going to let that happen. This is a place where there's a way to help people who are really in need, and no one seems to be paying attention. I would never give it to people like you, who put their own interests first and only take advantage of the weak. The large man glared at Miyamoto-san. Then he smiled invulnerably. All right, then we have an idea. What? He has my answer. Hey, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. When the large man ordered, Men began to break the walls and objects of the facility. Oh, what jerks! Hey! What are you doing? We're the owners of this land and building. 
So what we have here will be at our disposal. Uh, well, I'll forgive you today if you surrender this place to me right now. Everyone around is terrified. Uh. A shield! Kanto, sorry, please wait a moment. What? <laughs> what do you do, Silico? I'll take care of it. It's dangerous. You can't do it. So what do we do? We're just going to let it slide? Silico. I'm fine. I will twist and cross it lightly. Please someone with me. I'll be back. I see. Be careful. Uh, Vasilico takes me to the wall a little further away. Then he approached a large man. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, you guys. You've been fooling around for a while now. Yeah? Who are you? Uh, I'm, Vas I'm Vasilio. Apparently I still can't decide how to spell my name. The caregiver and guardian deity of this facility. Eh? What are you saying? Hey, Miyamoto-san, is an education well done here? Vasilico, no! Why? Can you forgive these guys for doing whatever they want? But it's no good. People who live here have no place to return. What? It's the same with Kanto-kun. Uh, that? I can only see from a distance, but I heard enough about me. That's right. If this is gone, people with disabilities like me will have difficulty living. That's why both Miyamoto-san and Basilico are trying to protect this place. Ah, so what? Is it a guardian deity's Oshariko? What do you want? I'm Basilico. You've got a rotten ear, you shit fat fucker. Oh, that's nice. Well, I guess they are the mob, so... Hey, what'd you say now? The large man stared at Basilico in a different way than before. I said, shit, fuck, fucker. Oh, that's, not, that's fantastic. Gee, thanks, Basilico. Oh, and I just... At that moment, Basilico's body was blowing away. Basilico! Basilico-kun! What'd they... The large man kicked Basilico's chest and slammed it against the wall. Huh? Damn, you... Uh, Facilico is hit in the chest so hard that he squirms, unable to breathe. Basilico! Hey! Is Basilico okay? Even if you know it is a useless call, you cannot help but call it. Ah, it's okay! It's the same as a mosquito bite. Dude, you just got your... The large man approaches Basilico and lifts his hair and turns his face. Uh, did you say you yeah, fat fucker earlier? Is it because of your mind? Yeah, I told you. I'll say it once more. You are a shit fat fucker. Oh, well, that, see, at that point, the writing not being, is being poorly edited is funny. <laughs> Vasilico spits at the man. Uh-oh. You look like, yeah, you look like you want to die. The man slaps his face against the wall by holding Vasilico's hair. Is that supposed to be his head hitting the wall? Again and again. Stop it! Stop it! Neither my voice nor uh, Miyamoto's can be understood by a man. We can't, oh, we can't stop the boss if it's gone. He died. Basilico was slammed repeatedly and his face was covered in blood. He was already unconscious or, hasn't, or hadn't said a word. Nevertheless, a man who slams without mercy. Miyamoto-san approaches the man and pulls his arm. Please stop it! Now, why is that name in uh, not in English? Don't know how to make a request? Please, I'll pay you. No more violence. Ah, everything is slow. Can't hold my anger in anymore. I apologize. I apologize already. Please stop. The man releases Vasilico from his head to see if he has calmed down a little. Vasilico's face is full of blood, and his original face is unknown. Oh, my lord. Well, my excitement has cooled off. That's 10 million. Eh? That's why I'm telling you to pay 10 million in nuisance fees and interest. Oh, what a dick. Such, no such money anywhere. You can borrow some money if you want. I'll introduce you to a black mark, marketeer I know. Such, so you're saying we're going to have to break it? Uh, these men know they can't pay and they're saying it. 
There's no way there's that much money in this facility, and I don't have enough credit to borrow money right now. I, I can't, and even if I could, I can only pay you a million. I have no choice but to break it. Please, do not break this facility. Well, let's sell your body. Alright, well, I guess they're the mob, so I didn't see that coming. Don't worry. You look young for your age. If you like, you might be popular with these those kinds of enthusiasts. Oh my god, they're going to sell her to sex slavery? Ah, the men and their subordinates are laughing with a vile smile. I, I don't. Miyamoto-san turned deep blue and had a sad expression, and she fell down with tears and tears. Hey, 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 come on, Miyamoto-san. Men who laugh again, sneaky. Frustrated, frustrated, frustrated. It is frustrating to receive such unreasonable treatment. I am sorry that there is no mercy for the weak in this society. I'm frustrated that I can't do anything with my body like this. And most of all, it's frustrating that I'm giving up everything for the sake of my body. Everyone in the room was in despair. At that moment... Uh -oh. What are you doing? A silver-haired girl with a shopping bag stood there. Oh, Kanata was shopping! Oh, she's going to kick some ass, take some names. Oh, this is another beautiful girl. Boss, why don't we just uh, sell she instead of sell her? Hey, uh, hey, lady, come here a little bit. Kanata ignores the man's voice and approaches the crouching Miyamoto-san. Miyamoto-san, what happened? Kanata-chan, it's dangerous. Run away from here. Miyamoto-san squeezes her weakened voice and appeals with tears. I don't know what happened, but apparently they are hostile figures. Huh? Kanata-chan? What are you saying? The man grabbed Kanata Kanata's arm and pulled her back. Hey, lady! Ignoring them is not good. I was a little pissed off. Kanata looks sideways at Vasiliko, who is collapsing. He was already on the ground. And Vasiliko, again, this time I'll let him let it slide that he spelled his name wrong because he has, like, no face. Did you do this? Uh, yeah, because he made fun of me. I gave him a little bit of social common sense. I see. Kanata tells quietly, but somehow powerful. Well, it doesn't matter. We're in trouble. Your boss won't pay me. So there's something I need you to help me with. What do you mean? I hope you I hope you appear in a special video. Oh, and I don't need clothes. Oh man, so they're gonna make her sell her body on the internet. The men laugh again. I yelled without patience. Hey! Stop these trash guys! Huh? The man looked around and looked at me as he noticed. What is this? It's a disabled person who can't do nothing. Uh, since you can't do anything better than the man there, stay silent. The man tells with eyes that look at things, not human. Alright, well, apparently, when you don't describe things very well in writing, this is what happens. You can't do anything about it. All I can do is watch. But even if that's the case, the thought of Kanata being humiliated is so unforgivable that it makes my head boil. Kanto-san, I'm fine. I'll take care of it. Are you fine? Kanata goes in front of the large man. I love a straightforward girl. I'm glad I did because all the person I've had so far have been idiots who don't listen to me. Well, apparently you sound like an idiot because you don't know how to read or write. Let's go then. With that said, the man grabbed Kanata's arm again. At that moment, oh man, he is fucked! The body of a large man was flying in the air. Eh? A man who can be slammed into the ground as it is. It hurts so much. Hey, boss, are you hurt? The man is moving around from the pain. Nobody understood what had happened in front of them. Kanata? Shit, what are you? Everyone at that place was stunned. That's our line. Where's the reason for harming the defenseless? Shut up! Hey guys, kill the kill day! Oh my god! Hey, if you don't mind the uh, editing being a 
terrible for a poorly translated game, more power to you. But can't you hear what I say? Even though that should have been, can't you hear what I said? Uh, Yes, sir. At the panicked man's order, his men pull out a black handgun from their breast pocket. Uh Uh-oh. I don't know why there is such a thing in Japan. But Kanata is in danger. Kanata! Run! Kanata approaches other subordinates. Bullets fired at Kanata all at once. Kanata! Oh, she dodged him. She dodged him quick. However, the bullets did not penetrate Kanata's body, but were all grabbed by the fingertips. Oh, man, she grabbed the bullets. Uh Uh-huh. The bullet is dropped with a crunching sound. And while everyone is in a daze, Kanata beats his subordinate to a pulp. Uh Almost all men have been neutralized, except for large men. (laughs) Oh, my lord. Hey, yeah, 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 what is this? You still want to do that? Shit. Hey, bring that machine. The man ordered to do so and heard the engine sound from outside the facility. The appearance through the window is apparently a humanoid robot for civil engineering work. Certainly the name is Heavy Machine. However, it is also known as Hetema because of its appearance. It seemed to be active in removing debris during the earthquake. Why did they bring these things? Kanata, that's bad. Kanto-san, how heavy is that robot? Eh? I don't know. Eh, probably weighs about as much as a truck. I see. Do you mind if I break it down? Kanata asks me why. Eh, uh, oh, uh, please. I understand, Master. Kanata then ran out of the facility. Did you say Master about me now? Ah, good. Just do it. At the man's signal, Hechima, even though it was said it was Hentima, I believe before, Hechima's arm is swung down into the facility. And an intense impact sound resounds. Standing there was Kanata, who took the Lufa's arm lightly. That's a monster! In so doing, Kanata grabs and lifts a Lufa's arm, which may be five ton. Five tons. Why are we calling it a Lufa's arm now? She then buzzed and swung the Hechima like a small child hang, handling a toy and threw it away with all her might. Exercises end. The men are staring at Kanata as if they were dreaming. Kanata turned around and told him again. Do you want to continue yet? I'm sorry. Please do not come here again. Oh, yeah. And? These sleeping people are in the way, so please take them home immediately. Okay, I understand. The men walked away from the place as if feeling fleeing from the monstrosity. Is everyone okay? Kanata looks a little more anxious than she did earlier. Kanata-chan? You are. I asked Kanata, speaking for everyone's voice. Kanata, who are you? I am. Kanata closes her eyes once and then opens her mouth as she is determined. It's horribly written. I am an android for combat. Kanata. Okay. Uh, it's, it's been a few days from attack by mafia. Oh my, it's been a few days since the mafia attacked. Today, the staff in the facility are still busy with their daily tasks. The welfare industry is always understaffed. The job is hard, but the salary is low, so there are a few newcomers and many people quit. A lot of assistive robots have come out to compensate for this with technology, but only those that lift people or assist with food. It is technically difficult to provide all-around care on its own, and it does not yet exist. Well, even if it was developed, it could be insanely expensive. 
For now, the quickest way to care for them is with human hands. Kanata, who is counted as a valuable asset, is as dependable as ever and does her job in a conscientious manner. Sorry. But somehow I feel that the staff's response to Kanata has become distant. It's natural. This incident made it clear that Kanata is not human. Everyone is pretending to be calm, but in their mind, they must be wondering who Kanata is. Basilico passed out from the assault at the time and doesn't know Kanata, so it's the same Nori as ever. Miyamoto-san seems to talk more with other staff members. Anyway, it seems that everyone wants to hear about Kanata's situation, but can't. I remember Kanata calling herself an android. When I think of androids, I'm talking about autonomous machines that can be found at the reception desk of a company or handing out leaflets on the street. What kind of androids are you hanging out with, Ken? Recently, uh, there seems to be an inexpensive model that can be bought by individuals, and it seems to do shopping and simple tidying up. However, it just looks humanoid, but you can tell it's a machine right away. The conversations were awkward because they only spoke according to the program. But Kanata is a person, no matter how you look at it. Her appearance is taken for granted, but her con conversational responses are too natural. She's a bit off, but I have not heard that a robot cr close to such a person has been created. Oh, what should I do? The more you think about it, the more things you care about. My head is full of Kanata. I've decided. Let's ask Kanata directly to find out her true identity. I want to know about Kanata, too. Just as I made up my mind to do so, there was a knock on the door. Here you go. Hello, Kanata. Excuse me, I'm here to check your vitals. It was Kanata who came in. I was surprised at how well-timed it was, but it's a great opportunity. Let's listen to every single thing that bothers you. You know, Kanata, as for getting rid of those guys from the other day, yes? Oh, thank you for protecting everyone in the facility. It's only natural to protect those who have no resistance. Yeah. Oh, so I have something to ask. When I'm at a loss for words, Kanata stares at me with her clear with her clear eyes as if she's trying to read my thoughts. Don't stare at me like that. I'm even more nervous if you stare at me like that. I made up my mind and asked the question. Is Kanata an android? Yes, Kanata is an android. She answered without a hitch. Well, does that mean that androids are robots? There is no problem with that recognition. So Kanata is a robot after all. She seems to be able to answer some questions, so let's just go ahead and ask her some more. When you first came to this facility, you said you didn't remember anything, but even a robot can lose its memory? I'm sorry. When I came here, the memory seemed to have stopped, and some of the memories were revived in the fighting action the other day. Oh, so even a robot can be in such a state. You look more and more like a person. No? Is Kanata special? When she say part of the memory, she probably hasn't fully recovered her memory yet. I should probably say when she says. I see. Do you remember where you came from? Yes. I came here by order from a distant laboratory. Orders? Who's it from? At the question, Kanata opened her mouth with a troubled expression. I'm sorry. I don't remember. Okay. Someone asked you to come here. Sorry, I couldn't explain. Saying that, Kanata was down and silenced. And Kanata, can you tell me about Kanata as much as you can remember? Yes, sir. Kanata talked about herself as much as possible. Apparently, Kanata was born in a research institute and was trained as a military android for combat. You know, the typical uh, Japanese girl trained for robot fighting. It allowed me to learn the art of fighting and to make off to fight off the Mafia the other day. Conversely speaking, he seems to have never done the finer things using his hands, and his job at the facility seemed to be struggling. Who? Oh. What? I don't... I'm not sure how they can switch from talking about different people at the same time without talking about different people. Uh, because it's an android, what I learned once can do it perfectly. Uh, because I'm an android, um, what I learned once, I can do perfectly again. Then one day, she came here after receiving an order from the person who managed Kanata, but she lost 
her memory due to an accident on the way. So she forgot the contents of the order and seemed to be lost in that park. Thank you. I'm still worried, but I understood the situation somehow. Yes. When I say that, Kanata looks down again and seems to be worried. What happened, Kanata? As I explained earlier, my memory has not completely returned. It may cause trouble for everyone. Therefore, I don't think it's appropriate for me to continue to be to continue at this place. I'm just going to fix the sentences. Certainly, an unidentified battle android that doesn't even know where it came from. No matter which element you look at, you can only smell the extraordinary. At least, it would be too much to continue to stay here just because of the lack of manpower. As Kanata says, it may be dangerous. But, but they have worked so hard to support us in a strange facility until now. She always thinks about us. Kanata is a, is a serious and good girl. That fact remains the same. So I want Kanata to continue to be here. It may not be possible for, long, for a long time, but it's okay to stay here at least until Kanata's memory is completely restored. Surely Vasilico and Miyamoto-san will understand. What do you want, Kanata? Want to stay here? <laughs> Kanata looked down, but after a moment, she opened her mouth. I'm... I want to help everyone more. She said that and looked straight at me. I'm very happy to see that Kanata felt the same way I did. I see. So the answer is already decided. Can I be there for you as I've always been? Of course. I want to be with Kanata from now on. I don't know if I can persuade, but I'll do my best to get everyone permission. Get everyone's permission. So, please ask again. Kanata, I want you to continue to support us. Is that okay? I moved my hand to Kanata, squeezing as much as I could. Kanata picked up my hand, wrapped it in her hands, and answered slowly. Yes, sir. Her expression felt more smiling than usual. By the way, you said master when you defeated that robot the other day. What was that all about? I'm sorry. Normally, I should have asked... I should have to... Wait, I should have to ask... For, wait, I should have to ask for permission to fight in advance, but the effects of my memory loss have delayed my confirmation. I should have to, should have to ask. I should have to ask for permission to fight in advance, but the effects of my memory loss have delayed that. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh yeah, that's fine though. Uh, maybe the master is referring to me. Of course. Oh, I understand. You learn how to make a joke. I was surprised. I'm not kidding. It's true, master. Kanata speaks calmly with her usual face. Wait, 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 what? When did I become a master? I mean, what is a master anyway? Can I become a dandy uncle who makes delicious coffee at the coffee shop counter? Is that what, is that what they think master is? I know that's not what I meant. Uh, why am I a master? Yes, when I first met Kanto-san, a master contract was signed. What? I don't remember signing that. When I first met, I thought Kanata was a normal person. Is she going to say because because I felt her up? There's no way we're talking about a contract. Tell me a little more. How'd you sign a contract? Yep. A master contract is established by scanning the retina with a sensor on my chest. Oh, so it's a breast sensor. Chest. Retina scan. Oh, and Kanata fell on me. Yes, this is the master contract. I see. I understand I'm a master. Well, just in case you're wondering, what happens when you become a master? I've seen this kind of development in anime. The one where the main character is taken care of by a beautiful girl servant and hustles? No way. That dream story can't happen in reality. Master is in a position to manage and supervise me and has the authority to use me in all orders. All orders, oh boy. Sorry, can you make that a little easier to understand? The master's instruction is programmed to be absolute. Does that mean you'll listen to anything I say? Yeah, Kanto. Got that? Anything? Yeah, anything. Woo! <laughs> You're lying. What? Is there really such a thing? Oh, no. I never thought the joke Basilico was telling me would come true. And I'm the master of Kanata. Kanata can't resist my command. That is, even if I order such things, or this kind of thing. Oh, Oh my god! 
Suddenly my body was getting hot. No, 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 no. Come to your senses, Kanto. Now I was having the most disgusting, nerdy thoughts ever. Okay, we're gonna wrap up in just a sec. Calm down, calm down. Huh? Let's try a little. I tell Kanata with a calm gesture. Uh, because I can't believe it. Can I order a little more? Yes, please tell me anything. Let's raise your right hand. Kanata then raises her right hand, even though it didn't look like she raised her right hand. Raise your left hand. The left hand is also raised with a swoosh. Jump as it is. She jumps up with both hands in the air. It's quite surreal. Hmm. Try somersault on the spot. Whoa! Okay, now why could they animate that, but nothing else? This time she did a brilliant backflip that landed beautifully. As expected, android. Stunning operation without any blurring. I heard a great sound when I landed, but I guess it's rather heavy. Well, Kanata certainly listens to me. This may be acting. It doesn't prove that the master's order is absolutely true. Let's go for the colored lust this time. Then take off your clothes. Even a master would not listen to such a disgraceful order. Yes, I knew I wouldn't do this and dared to say. I'm not saying I'm losing my desire and expecting it. Ha, <laughs> just kidding. Huh? Why are you trying to take it off without hesitation? Wouldn't you normally be embarrassed and defy them with, I can't do that? The order will be fulfilled if we don't do this. I'm glad. Not. I've got to hurry and stop this. Wait for it. Stop now! Is there a problem? Is there a problem? No, uh, it's not. Then why are you trying to take it off? Acting as ordered by the master. Yes, but you don't feel embarrassed? I don't know how to respond. Can you tell me what shyness is? You've got it all wrong. Surely you should be ashamed of yourself here. No, 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 no. For now, let's get you dressed. If anyone comes in this scene, it will be misunderstood. In the meantime, let's get you dressed. Yes, sir. With that said, Kanata began to put on the clothes she had almost taken off again. Huh? Dangerous, dangerous. At that time, there was a shout from the door. Wow! Kanata, Kanata, what? Basilico is appalled in front of the door. I heard a dull sound, so I came over to see what it was. What the hell are you two doing? No, 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 no. It was the worst thing that could have happened. I have to make a good excuse. Basilico, misunderstanding. This is wrong for Kanata. I was trying to take off my clothes at the command of the master. Oh no, she just sold us out. What? Why did you take your clothes off? And what the hell is the master? Hey, hey Kanto, explain it to me. Oh. Kanata, perfect timing. You made me misunderstand Basilico wonderfully. If this were a comedy contest, it would be an excellent exchange that would have won first place. Oh, there's no way to fool around. I'll explain everything to Basilico. All right, so we're going to save here. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure to give us a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to Jujuki, and make sure you leave a comment so you can get more robot fighting action that help people in assisted living facilities. My name is Steve, and we hope to see you in the next one. Ladies, have a good day, everybody.